वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन द सीरीज कॉस्मोलॉजिकल पर्टोबेशन थ्योरी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी रिव्यूड द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशंस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली वी लुक्ड एट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस ऑफ स्केलर वेक्टर एंड टेंसर फील्ड्स एट वन गिवन पॉइंट and by the way scalar fields do not transform at one given point scalar field remains the same when we go from one gauge to another gauge at one given point but uh, the vectors so scalar field is the same vectors transform tensors transform and these transformations we looked at one given point but these are not the gauge transformations the gauge transformations are the transformations at one set of coordinates so now we are going to look at the transformations at one set of coordinates which which are actually the gauge transformations so by gauge transformations we mean transforming the values of field from one gauge to another gauge at the same set of coordinates we have seen that p p1 and p2 are three different points and these points which we have seen in our previous videos they are chosen so that their coordinates are the same in all the gauges so p p1 p2 are three points located at different three different physical locations but their coordinates are the same in each gauge so now we will derive the transformation equations for scalar vector and tensor perturbations at point p1 in gauge 1 to p2 in gauge 2 so what do we mean by p1 in gauge 1 to p2 in gauge 2 this means that uh, we are going to derive the transformation equations at the same set of coordinates so when we say p1 these are the two perturbed gauges caret gauge gauge 1 and tilde gauge gauge 2 these are two perturbed gauges we are interested in finding the relationship between the perturbation quantity in gauge 1 and the perturbation quantity in gauge 2 